Hi guys, today we're going to go over the log tab on an asset. For this example, we're going to use this two-ton Sear Goodman. So to get into its log, you simply click here, and immediately you can see everything that's happened on this asset, including all the PMs, the work orders, the work requests, any manual log entries, and just a lot of great information. You can see who did it or who recorded the log, and then also what happened. So in this case, let's dive a little bit deeper and see that what happened on this bad compressor. You can click in here and immediately see it was assigned by Brian, it was completed by Brian, it took an hour to complete, caused four hours of downtime, Here's the instructions that he actually of the work he actually did. He investigated and repaired it. And then his comments on the work. It was most definitely a bad compressor, and so he replaced it. And as you can see, this provides a great overview of what has actually happened on this asset, which is great for a lot of reasons. It helps with diagnosing. It helps uh, make business decisions if you should replace the asset or not. If it's breaking down a ton, maybe it's time to buy a new HVAC, for example. Now, you can go ahead and most definitely add manual entries. Um, we'll go ahead and erase that. Hopefully it's not on fire. But let's go ahead and say um, uh, we're going to perform a visual inspection. Click Add Entry. And now you can see that that entry is logged on this asset. Really, you can use the log whatever way you want. But by default, automatically all work orders, PMs, all tasks are automatically logged in here. And so you most definitely don't have to use the manual entry, but in cer certain circumstances, you'll find that it's helpful so that capability is there. Additionally, you can attach pictures or even documents onto that assets log. Now, that's the log tab. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email at mel, that's M-A-I-L, at limblecmms.com or feel free to leave comments below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and you have a great day.